Hi everybody, it's Lisa Precht with Essential Life Naturals and I'm back with another video on um, making something that will help you keep yourself and your family healthy during the cold and flu season or really all year round. Um, it's elderberry syrup and it's something that <clears throat> I've been using for 10 years probably. Um, I started out buying it and you can certainly do that. It's just expensive. And once you realize how easy it is to make, you're going to want to make it yourself. And it's fun and it tastes good and your kids like it. And it's just kind of an easy medicine um, to have on hand and it makes you feel good that you can do it yourself. Um, elderberries are something that um, quite frequently grow um, probably close to where you live. If you uh, live out in the country, a lot of times they'll grow in areas um, kind of on the edge of the woods or maybe by a stream, by a field. Um, but if you are not comfortable identifying elderberries, do not go and pick berries thinking they are elderberries, making the syrup and then, you know, dying. That would be horrible. Um, so uh, elderberries can be bought at your local co-op and you can buy them by the pound. They look like they might be expensive, but really you really only need about a cup of them for this recipe. Um, or you can order them online and save a little bit of money, you know, a little bit of money if you buy them in bulk. Um, so let's kind of begin with a little bit of background and history about the elderberry. I'm not going to get into it in depth because first of all, I am not a medical practitioner, nor do I claim to be. I'm just a mom and uh, somebody who is a little bit of a health nut who really likes to learn and share what I've learned, you know, with you guys. So um, elderberry, the proper name is Sambucus nigra. There is a, a brand on the market called Sambuca and that's what I bought for years. Like I said, it's expensive. I think I paid maybe... 15 to 18 dollars a bottle for this stuff and I did this for years until I realized how easy it was to make um, so let me read you a little bit of background about the elderberry and why it is so great it's it is used for its antioxidant activity to lower cholesterol improve vision boost the immune system improve heart health and for coughs cold flu it has a bacterial and an antiviral um, infection fighting properties good for tonsillitis. Elderberry juice was used to treat a flu epidemic in Panama in 1995. Um, elderberries have been a folk remedy for centuries in North America, Europe, Western Asia, and North America. Hence the me medicinal benefits of elderberries are being investigated and rediscovered. So, um, you know, the sad part again, and I've said this before, is that um, pharmaceutical companies try to copy what nature has already, you know, produced and they can't patent nature so they try to reproduce it in a lab or a factory in ma mass amounts and then sell it to you and me and for some things that works and that's just fine and for a lot of things um it you know it ends up making people sicker and you actually have you know more side effects than you do just original symptoms so you know let's make what we can with what nature provides us so all right um, what I've done is I've kind of jazzed up this elderberry syrup a little bit, um, actually quite a lot, because I kind of um, have added all my own favorites to kind of add things for, you know, extra flu fighting properties, extra vitamin C, um, extra kind of, um, well, this one is astragalus, which is great for uh, stimulating the immune system. So I'm going to start with kind of a, the basics about what you do with elderberry syrup, and then I'll tell you what I've added. And you can add one, two, three, all of these or none of these. It's, it's really up to you. You want to start with the basic elderberry syrup and then just jazz it up from there. Once you kind of acquire your herbal apothecary like I have, that would be fine too. So what I have done is I started with one cup of dried elderberries. They look like they, they're dark purple. They're little tiny berries. That They look like this. When they're dried, you can't, you can hardly even see it. Um, they come dried. You can use fresh elderberries in the summer if you want to, but um, again, be careful and, you know, it might be just best to start out with dried. So I used one cup of elderberries to anywhere between two and three cups of water. So basically you're just doubling the amount of water or a little bit more. And I put that on the stove and I turn it on to simmer and I reduce it to about half. So that takes about 45 minutes. So, you know, go do something else, get on the treadmill or something, go for a walk. I don't know. Um, when you come back and it is reduced to half, it's ready. And all you're going to do then is sweeten it. And I do not use sugar to sweeten it because bacteria feeds on sugar. And why the heck 
Would you add sugar when you're already sick because it's not good for you? So you can use agave, maple syrup. I like honey because it's got a lot of antibacterial and antiviral properties in it already. It's just good for you. If you can get local raw honey, that's even better, organic, do your best. If you just have regular old honey, that's fine too. Okay, so that's what you do. That's your basic syrup. It's one cup to two to three cups water, simmer it down to half and sweeten it with about Oh, anywhere between a half cup to a cup of honey. I think a cup is way too much. A lot of recipes ask for a cup. I think about a half is probably fine. Depends on you and your likeness. So, um, so what I've done though is I've added a bunch of things and you can add things to make it just more flavorful. It's really yummy on its own. Um, or you can, like me, just add things because you just like the idea of just boosting the immune properties to it. So what I've added to this concoction here is um, I added slices of orange, which have now kind of dissolved to just the peel. I've added a cinnamon stick, which has got an antiviral property, and the orange is for vitamin C and it's for flavor. I added some ginger root, which is also good for coughs. Um, this is dry ginger root, which I happen to have on hand. I have, you know, scads of big jars of, of herbs like this in my cupboards I use for tea and for making um, syrups and tinctures and things. But if you want to buy fresh ginger root, that's awesome. You can just um, peel a little bit, slice it off, and drop a hunk in there. It really doesn't matter how much, maybe about an inch, really whatever you like. Um, the more you add, the more um, zinginess it's going to have. So I put about a teaspoon of dried ginger in here. I also use rose hips. And rose hips are very high in vitamin C and really great for fighting infections. So I used dried rose hips and um, I used about a teaspoon. So I put a teaspoon of that. I also used dried astragalus root, which is an organic um, astragalus root. And this is, I'm going to read this to you because this stuff's amazing. And I can't see it with all my readers. So, okay. So it says astragalus root is most popular for stimulating the immune system. People who frequently fall victim to colds and get respiratory infections are prime candidates for astragalus root. Um, so I really like this. I like to have it around and I add it to my syrups. So if you want to, great. If you don't have it, which you probably won't if you're just starting out, that's fine. No big deal. And then I added cinnamon, a cinnamon stick as well. All right. So I've added all those things. I've simmered it to f for 45 minutes till it's um, reduced down to about half. And now I'm just going to strain it. And you can do two things. You can either strain it through a small or a, a sieve like this, a fine mesh sieve like this, or you can put it over a bowl and put cheesecloth and do it that way. It will stain your hands, your clothes, your cutting board, all of that. So just be aware. Okay, kind of messy. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour it through the strainer. And again, it's a little bit messy. And scrape out all the goodness. And you know, I've actually, um, I've actually used this more than once. So many times when I make this, what I'll do is I'll make the syrup and then there's so much juice and um, life left in the berries that I actually run another batch. So I add more water, I simmer it down and I make more. So um, you can do that until you get all of the, until you just, you know, cook the heck out of it. All right. So cook the life out of it. So what I'm doing is I'm just pressing all the juice. You can probably see it going through the strainer. I'm pressing it through here. Oh, and you know what? I added one more thing that I didn't tell you about. I don't want to tell you this because it's really, really, really important. Um, if you've ever heard of star anise, which is a, just a beautiful herb um, seed pod, it looks like a star, right? Hence the name. And star anise is actually one of the in, one of the components of star anise is used in making Tamiflu, which is, as you know, something that um, is developed and was developed to treat uh, flu symptoms. It's also been used for pandemics, and people, um, you know, are hoarding it to keep it on on hand in case we have another pandemic or whatever. So. Um, Star anise, it's got a licorice flavor. Some people hate licorice. I happen to love it. Um, but I added two star anise seed pods to my syrup and just to give it more oomph. So um, I think that's awesome. Okay, so now I'm pushing all the juice through. And I'm not going to make you wait until I push it all the way through. But basically, you get the idea. What I've got now is I've just got all of this wonderful... Oh, it's so good. But it's not very sweet yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add... Well, let's see, we've got 
12 ounces here. I'm going to probably add about half of this, and this is just organic honey. And I'm going to add about half, and then I'm just going to stir it and taste it. It's so not a science. Um, and this is still just a little bit warm, so the honey will dissolve really quickly. So I'm going to stir it up here. I'm going to taste it. Once I get my honey dissolved off my spoon, so I can see how it really tastes. And, okay, it's so, it's so good. Honestly, you're, you're gonna wanna just drink this. And then I'm going to, now that it's sweet, I'm going to um, pour it through a funnel into this cute little bottle that I have. So save your, you know, save your cool bottles. Things that you get cream in, Look at that, it's perfect. Ah. Things that you get cream in, salad dressing, whatever. Things that are cool shapes. Um, you know, save your glassware, be green, and use it again. And then all I did was I labeled it with a cute little label. It's really not even cute. It's actually just a piece of ta packing tape with paper underneath it. And it says, well, it's backwards to you, but it says elderberry syrup. And very importantly, um, put the date that you made it so that when you find it in your refrigerator, if you're not sure, you make a bunch or whatever, you're not drinking something that's five years old. If you like me and you have a refrigerator that you can't see in the back of and you know, things get stuck back there. So cap it up tight, put it in the refrigerator, you're good to go. I usually say um, probably take about a tablespoon a day. If you are sick and you come down with something, then you can take you know, you can take this as needed. So, I mean, it doesn't have any side effects. It isn't going to make you feel weird or anything, but it's just going to help your body fight this infection. It's going to keep you healthy if you're already healthy. So you can take it every day. You can make your family take it every day. They're not going to buck about it because it tastes great. Um, and if you're sick, you're going to take it probably on the hour, a tablespoon an hour until your symptoms start to get better. And, um, Good luck. It's awesome. It's fun to make. You can make it for gifts. You can make it for your family. They're going to think you're amazing. So good luck and God bless.